guys, Sponge Murphy here. So a while ago I put out a video um, talking about Finecast and how bad it is and the experience that I had with a model at the time. It was the Airjack Rockfist model for Space Wolves. And there's a lot of, you know, opinions about uh, Finecast. And pretty much a lot of people all agree that the sooner the better it's gone in favour of plastic the better. There's a lot of negativity about it. And... You know, I agree with most of it, like it's for the money you're paying for some of these models to get a fine cast model that's, you know, mismolded so badly, it's, I guess, it's kind of not good enough, it's pretty shit. But, um, you know, not all fine cast models can be, you know, terrible. You know, I'm in favour of the plastic ones, even the all metal, ball, metal ones instead of fine cast. But... As you see in front of you, I have the Isabella von Karstein model. Now this is fine cast, I've had this for a while. Because I've never got around to painting it. I've no plans anytime soon on doing it, but um I was looking at this, I have it here. And I'll have a quick look at it. Put a bit of a nicer background so you can get a good look at it. And when I was looking at this, you know, it's there's not many kind of mistakes, and this is what I'd call a good fine cast model. No, no way am I saying that, hey look, give Finecast a break, it's not all that bad. Like straight away, I noticed on her, her chin is a little bit mismolded. And I haven't touched this, I haven't even taken any bits off the sprue. It's pretty much been in that little clamshell case for the last year nearly. And straight away I noticed her chin is a little bit chipped. But pretty much everything else with the model is kind of, I'm trying to put my arm there because of the shadow. Is pretty much spot on. Um, not that I can spot anything now, and I was looking at it before I, you know, turned the camera on, and I couldn't spot any kind of mistakes that I spotted with the Airjack model. Like that one was, you could spot mistakes in a mile away. It was that bad. Um, like I give detail here for her hair. There's a lot of good detail in that. Um, you know, even like her arm here. Like this is a very small model. Like, do I have anything here? To like there's a Skaven model that I have and they're pretty small and she's not much bigger than him like in Skaven guys are they're not the tallest so let's kind of just work away around what I have What's, or her as I should say you know her cloak is pretty good her body is pretty good the dress nothing really looks bad Um, you know a little bit underneath it it's, the texture there looks a bit funny it should be maybe a bit smoother, but I wouldn't complain about that too much. It's underneath it, you wouldn't really see it. Um, this little thing here that's for the front of her dress or something, I don't know what it is, but that, like there's no real kind of like bubbles in it. Like even the sword there is pretty smooth, it's pretty well done. Her shoulder pad and her arm, and that kind of. If I can zoom in on it, that chalice thing in there is pretty decent as well. You know, there's not. Like, apart from her chin, which unfortunately, like, it's a little mistake that's on her face. Now, you probably can, you know, like, file it down a little bit. But, like, on the camera, it looks pretty easy. But when I'm looking at it, like, next to the camera, this model is so, like, small. Like, her face is absolutely tiny. Um, so that could be a bit of a annoyance. But apart from that, this model is pretty perfect like you know for a fine cast model um, like, there's not there's only one little tiny mistake in it and I think for a fine cast model that's pretty decent so uh, so that's just my just quick opinion on getting a better fine cast model you know instead of just being so negative all the time it is a bit unfortunate where you have a fine cast model where there's like one mistake and it's like oh look this is finally a good one but there are good ones out there like it, it, fine cast was put out for like the extra fine detail and everything but unfortunately it comes riddled with mistakes on some of them but the detail on this one seems pretty spot on, seems pretty good so uh, that's just a quick opinion on that just to kind of say look fine, cast pretty so pretty much sucks but if you do get a good one they are pretty much like spot on now Forge World ones I don't know about because I've never bought anything off Forge World these are just the normal ones that you get from GW so so uh, let me know what you guys thought about that. And um, no way am I defending Finecast. I pretty much hate it. I have no plans on buying another Finecast model for a long time unless I have to. So uh, let me know what you guys think about it. 
Uh, leave a comment below and hit the like button. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching.